Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know where you're from, but hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a full face of products that are empty-ish, stuff that I've hit pan on, stuff that I've used a lot of. Basically just, yeah, a full face of products that are almost empty or close. I wanted to do this because when I was doing my declutters, there was quite a lot of things. I was like, oh my gosh, I've almost used this up. I may as well finish it, etc, etc. So yeah, today we are doing this. If you like it, let me know. I'll do another one because there's quite a lot of products in each category that, you know, are kind of almost finished up or like not every category, but a lot of categories. So let's just get started. This way you can kind of see what my favorite and most used products are, like both on and off camera, like in everyday life. Stuff that I, you know, obviously really like because I've almost finished it. Anyway, primer. I've actually got a few primers I've almost finished up. I would say this is like the closest one. I'm on a bit of a mission to get rid of it now because look at this, it's almost gone. This this is the One Step Correct by Stila. I love this. It's like brightening, it's a little bit color correcting, super hydrating, it makes my makeup look great on top and I love the packaging because it's got that kind of push up packaging that like you know you can get every single little bit out. It's the best kind of packaging because you don't waste any product. So yeah, One Step Correct. I've been using this for years. You guys have heard me talk about this for years on my channel if you watch me. And I haven't actually reached for it in a while so I'm excited to put it on today. Can you see what I mean? Like instantly it's got that low-key like greenish tint which helps to like disguise redness and it feels amazing. It smells amazing. Oh my god. My hair is up so tight that this hurts. Like when I go like this it's like pulling. Holy crap. I'm just popping that all over my skin. It makes my skin feel amazing. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I absolutely would. I don't know if I will straight away because I've got so many primers but it's definitely one like in the future if I was like oh I need a primer. Say like I forgot a primer and I was in America and I went to Sephora, I'd be like, yeah, I'll grab that one because it's just a go-to, you know? One thing about this primer right now, like this is quite old. I've had it for a while now. I think it's like my third tube of it. Um, but it's been sitting in my collection a little while. It's a little bit flaky. Like I feel like it's starting to dry out a little bit. You know what? Like that might be the last time I use it. Maybe I'll just pop that in an empties video after this because like it's still okay, but there's a few little like dry spots of it. Yay! Okay, so yeah, I didn't quite finish it, but it's old and yeah, let's, let's just by foundation so this one this is a little bit of a like IRL favorite you know and I've raved about this on my channel <laughs> a couple of times but then I pissed everyone off because none of you guys could get it um I think it's exclusive to like Pacific in Asia like Asia Pacific which is New Zealand Australia uh Asia <laughs> I don't know if you can get it worldwide I don't think we could at the time, but I've got a few. So this one is the Studio Perfect SPF 50 NC30, which is the one I'm going to use today. I've got fake tan on. I mean, I've also got this one, which I got in Japan, so I don't really know what it's called in this one. Both are all written in Japanese. If any of you guys can read Japanese, there it is right there if you want to pause it and translate it for us all. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's like pretty much the same product. I mean, they all look the same on my skin. If you can find these. These are amazing, okay? Like these are so good for everyday. I love the packaging. I think it was for like a Chinese New Year or something. You could get a puff with it, which I don't really use. And here's the products inside. This is almost used up. You can get refills for it. I think I've actually got a refill in my collection, which is good. Yeah, I just love it because it's like SPF 50. It's perfect for day to day. It's got all of your protection. The coverage is like the perfect medium kind of coverage. The glow is amazing. It makes your skin look like silk. I personally just use my Flawless Finish Sponge by XO Beauty. Press it into the product. Hopefully we can get some out because like I said, it's almost empty. Duh. That's the whole point of this video. Oh, I should be concealing around my eyebrows before I do this, but oh well. So don't mind me while I go back and forth a million times to pick up more product because yeah. I used this religiously for ages, like in real life, and it's just the perfect day to day foundation. I love it. If you just want something quick that you can like chuck in your purse for touch ups, you know, it's just the most versatile, like easy packaging to take with you. You can just use the little puff it comes with for day to day touch ups, like if you're going day to night or whatever and you just want to touch up your makeup. Because I'm putting this on, can you just see? Hold on, this is too bright. It just glides on, it's easy, it's so thin and lightweight, but the coverage is like that really beautiful medium kind of coverage. I'm gonna have to bring it down my neck a little bit. You can also use it with a brush. I have done that, just like my flat face brush, just like dunk it in there spread it out but I don't know sponge is just nice and easy and can we appreciate like how smooth my skin looks like it just looks so nice over pores it looks so nice over texture it looks like skin just like 
radiant perfect like glass skin. Also New Zealanders, I know a lot of you are gutted that moisture mist is no longer a thing, right? Moisture mist, obviously the moisture mist, that kind of creamy like cake kind of formulation, almost like a mixture of like a powdery cakey, you know? If you are open to trying a new formula, it's a little bit more liquidy. Try this just because it's just as portable and it's just as easy, you know? And you can use it with like the same kind of sponge if you want to use that same sponge. Just an alternative, you know? It's not a dupe, but if you're open to try something new. So for eyebrows, eyebrow products take so long to use up. The one that is the closest to being used up for me is Cabral, and I've still got shitloads left. It's still going strong. Some people say theirs dried out. Mine doesn't. It's still good. And I just like to use it with a eyebrow groomer brush. You can use a little brush it comes with too. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to thicken up the blank kind of spaces. You can see my eyebrows aren't too bad because they are um, tinted, but I do have some like gaps. So just going through underneath and kind of filling in all of those areas. Something like that. I don't know if you can see the difference. Love this stuff because it's so user friendly. A lot of pomades you have to be so careful and use such a little amount. This one you can like just go in and like put it on. You can build it up. Like it's not scary. And that's what I love about it because I guess I'm like quite a heavy handed makeup person. So like sometimes I get myself in trouble. I really do like buildable products. I like buildable bronzers. I like buildable blush. And it's so quick and easy. Um, it's definitely my favorite pomade if ever. And then this won't be a surprise, but this is my like emptiest brow product. I've gone through so many of these. The Gimme Brow Shade 3. Um, this is currently my most empty one. And like I just said, like I've gone through a lot of these and I love it. It thickens your brows. It keeps the brow hairs in place. My emptiest concealer would have to be this one right now. Also this one. So let's just use both. So <laughs> let's use Custard. This is um, the Pot concealer, soft matte complete concealer by NARS. In custard, I use vanilla under my eyes and custard on my face. Sometimes I use custard under my eyes too if I'm fake tan I don't want like a really bright under eye. But this concealer is so good around the eyebrows, it's really good under the eyes. Look at it. Like the formula is like moussey cream. It's so good. The coverage is unreal. It looks so beautiful under the eyes. It doesn't accentuate texture on me. I'm a huge fan of it. You can see it's just carving up my eyebrows so beautifully. Coverage is unreal. It's so easy to use. Usually I just go straight in with my sponge like and just like tap it on. It's so pretty. This and the Benefit Concealer are like my favorites ever. Okay. Actually, you know when I did my makeup collection, if I wasn't a YouTube person or makeup artist or whatever, it should have been in that video as well. And then the other one, the shade Almond of the Born This Way Scotland Concealer. I mean, I've still got shitloads left. This thing is huge. Best value for money in the world. But in terms of like compared to every other concealer, like this and the NARS one are the most empty and most used. So I'm just doing some dots around my eye area. I love this. It's such a nice formula. It's so funny because when I first tried it, when it first launched, I was like, I don't see anything special about this. But then it was one of those products I just couldn't stop putting, like picking up, sorry, couldn't stop putting down. You know what I mean? And I was like, hold on, do I actually like this a lot? And then like I'd go back to other concealers and then I was like, no, I still like, I like the Too Faced one. And like for some reason, I just, I just loved it and I loved the finish of it and it just looks so nice. So yeah, I really like it. And I did get rid of all my dark shades. I donated them all. But now I kind of wish I kept like one dark shade for a bit of like a cream contour, cream bronzer situation because it just sits on the skin so lovely. So maybe that's something I have to pick up at some stage. I just don't know what color to get. It's just stunning. Like just looks so nice sinks into the skin so lovely. It's great around the eyebrows as well. So powder, this is easy. You guys know what this is going to be. This is the Studio Fix MAC powder. I've actually got a lot that look like this that are like, you know, dangerously close to empty. Oh, I forgot to see it under my eyes. I'll do that next. I love this because it works with every single foundation I own, I swear. And even though it's real matte, like it doesn't make me look dusty. It doesn't make me look cakey. Or actually it can make me look cakey if I use too much or use it with like other foundations that are cakey looking. Do you know what I mean? But like if I just put it on this, for example, like it won't look cakey. It just sinks into my skin lovely. It lasts a long time. My emptiest contour is definitely the Makeup Obsession Contour Powder. This comes in a lot of different like packagings and ranges with Makeup Revolution, but I find them all to be very similar. Oh my God. God, what the heck is this feeling in my head? Um, they're all very similar. This one in particular is the Makeup Obsession Contour Powder in white. Um, and you can see I've almost hit pan here. I feel like this product is amazing. Like, I rave about it, right? It's so good because the color is perfect. It's really easy to blend. 
it's not too like intensely pigmented like I can build it up a little bit and just get the effect I want without like going crazy do you know what I mean like that's one layer there and it blends really well I do feel like compared to some of my other contours that I've probably used just as much as this one I use it quicker but I'm not mad about it, it's so cheap. Like I've used my Tarte Sculpt Powder like to death and I still have so much product left. Whereas this one like I've used to death and it shows, do you know what I mean? So like you go through this one a bit more, but it's so cheap. So who actually gives a damn? Honestly, it's so cheap. So like, I can't be mad at that. I don't care. And it's satisfying to see it going down. <laughs> so I'm just applying that to my cheekbones. I'm trying to contour well today because of this whole situation with my hair. And then I'm going to take my most used bronzer. It would be this one. It would have been before my declutter, my old, old Givenchy bronzer. If you guys remember that. It was actually used to death that... It was so thin on the pan it snapped like it broke so I decluttered it because I got a new one but like that would have been my most used one this is the one I currently have in my collection left over that is the most used and it's so so much but yeah it's definitely flattened like if you know like hourglass products how they come a little bit more like baked this one's like flattened off a lot this is the shade radiant bronze light and if you've been on my channel for a while you've heard me raving about this I love the color I love the finish I'm not huge into hourglass products overall, like I haven't really ever been like, oh my god, you know how some people love hourglass? I'm like, yeah, it's good. But this is incredible. This is their best product in my opinion. I feel like I'm talking so much today, I'm sorry. Hey, I like to put on my nose. Look at it. I look sun-kissed. I look like I've been on holiday. Put it on your body. And it's so easy to blend, like literally. So easy. You can't screw it up. And I mean, it's expensive, but I've been using this exact same powder for how long now? Like, it lasts. So don't even worry about it. Like, if you want to splurge on something a little bit more high-end, it's worth the money because it will last you forever. All right, I'm going to do my eye makeup next, but first let's just set this. Surprise, surprise, need I say more? Be pretty fresh. The one I went through most recently, like, completely would have been my Glam Glow Glow Set. I love that one. This is a really good, cheaper alternative. Mm, I've got a discount code down below, even though it's already, like, dirt cheap. You can get it even cheaper. Now let's just see my skin texture transform into... The most amazing glowy finish. There's another like pretty much empty. Like this I probably shouldn't even put it on because it's kind of dried out by this stage. But looks just a little bit. This is the Natasha Denona eye primer. And it is bomb. But I do like my P. Louise. I feel like it's a very similar product. Almost the same kind of like feeling and look. You know, and performance to be honest. Like almost like alternatives for each other. Except the P. Louise one, I feel like it's way better value for money, so. But before I found my P. Louise, this was my holy grail. If you want to try it, go for it, it's definitely good. I'm just blending it out with my little brush, my dual petal brush. You can buy this separately on Eso Beauty now. Sorry to everyone that already knows that. I know I've said it in a couple of videos, but I still get questions. Honestly, what a great eye primer though. Like it really evens everything out. Makes everything look perfectly smooth. You guys know I struggle a lot with my veins on my eyelids, which make my eyeshadow look kind of messy sometimes. Like if you can see my veins, it makes the blending look worse because you can see like just everything happening underneath the color. So I really need something to really erase every single sign of my vein. Okay, eyeshadow palette, this is kind of cheating because I actually had another one that I threw out because it looked mangy and then I got a new one. But um, this one is still the most used palette in my collection, the Shinixo Remix palette. And especially if you consider the one before this and then my original BH Cosmetics Shinixo palette which is discontinued. This is also discontinued but there are like very limited numbers on exobeautyshop.com and a few other random places around the world. Just like the last stop kind of thing. So if you do want it, you can go on Exo Beauty Shop and there's a very limited amount left and that's it. Like there's none being made ever again. Also the original Shed Exo palette, like that one was used to absolute shit. Like honestly, like that palette was a disaster. Like it looked terrible because it was just so dirty because I used it all the time. But then I got rid of it because it was these shades here and I got the Remix palette and then this is the newest one but it's still filthy because I use it all the time I still do like here and there like in real life and I often pair it up with my Hector Sweets palette by Exo Beauty which is the palette I created so like they're kind of just like my go-to colors obviously because that's why I put them in the palette but yeah this is my most used so if you guys have this palette you can come along with me and create this look 
If you don't, hopefully you've got some colors similar. Let me know down below, what is your most used eyeshadow palette? Back in the day, it would have been probably Naked Original Palette. Um, and after that, I mean, it was probably my Z palettes. So but then I kind of went right off the Z palettes and I started just using eyeshadow palettes, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills and BH Cosmetics and all these other brands. And it's gotten to the point now where there's just so many new launches of eyeshadow palettes that I use like all of my eyeshadow palettes like a couple of times and that's about it. There are some I love more like the M -M -M Mitchell Beauty Bay palette. I use that so often, like stuff like that. There are some I use a fair amounts but yeah you know what I mean like I no longer just have like one palette unless it's like my own that I am using in real life like away from YouTube because I don't want to just do like 20 different tutorials using my palette I feel bad doing that so today I'm going to take some of my most used colors from the Shani So Remix palette which I need you and I'm using this on a round eye brush and I'm going to just pack that kind of like in the crease. I'm just using this round eye brush to really blow out the color. This brush just packs on color and makes it look like so blown out, it's crazy. It's such a good brush just to like transition with. I'm gonna wing out this color a bit. Like, isn't that just the best neutral color ever? I have to thank you guys once again, even though it's like been and gone, you can't get this off BH Cosmetics anymore. Like it's all discontinued, it's all over. This palette was insane. Like you guys showed it so much love. BH Cosmetics were like absolutely blown away with the response. They were like, holy shit. That's why we did this one after the original because the original went so well. Like, thank you guys so much for supporting me through all of my little ventures I've ever done. I appreciate it so much. I hope you guys still love your palettes, even though it's old now. You know, well not old, but you know. Makeup is all about the new stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, the new hype. So, I love you guys. Thank you. I still see people using this on Instagram and tagging me and it's just the best thing and the best feeling in the whole world. And likewise, with my Heaps of Sweets palette, like, the support you've shown me, it's sold out. Like, we are restocking it in hopefully like a month or two because something else exciting is coming here hint hint just thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for all the support you guys always show me i'm just running this underneath too like what is my life like i'm so lucky do you know what i feel like doing is using maybe some vampette because i just haven't used a color like this in a long time and i might do like a smoky liner kind of situation so before i do that i'm just going to take a little bit of island glow which is the gold and i'm just going to Tap that right over that lid and then just make sure there's no harsh edges with my round eye brush. And then we're going to take a little angled liner brush and we're going to wing out this fan pet shade. This looks so cool. So yeah, this is just a winter liner brush. And I'm just going to take it to like halfway and then just really like massage it in with the brush into my skin just to like smoke it out. You know, I don't want it to be too harsh. But I'm going to keep like the very edge quite um like less smudged. <laughs> sharp that's the word i was looking for it looks so cool with the hair too like the hair up and like this cool like dramatic like deep burgundy wing doing it quite thick then massage it in blend it in a little bit you can use a little blender brush if you want but this technique works really well just to soften the edge honestly what the heck i love this color so much i haven't worn it in ages <sighs> if you want it to be even darker you can always layer it on top of like a black eyeliner pencil um if you want it to be like almost like a black purple. Maybe we'll just do a little bit of Bestie, which is this one. And we'll just kind of like put that right on the edge. So it's a really soft transition. Bestie is such a good color. I love it in the crease. It was kind of like what inspired, oh, where is my Heaps of Sweets palette? It's kind of what inspired um, Vanilla from my Heaps of Sweets palette. It's still very different, but honestly, like, on the eye, one of them's obviously much more nude, but it really gives you that kind of like pinky, like flush. I don't know. If you've seen my tutorials, I use a lot of my um, tutorials with my Heaps of Sweet palette just in the crease. It like looks so dope. So I was inspired by that kind of like undertone of Bestie, but then I turned it more into like a kind of neutral shade, you know? So yeah, Bestie is definitely like a close to my heart color that I created. That's a vibe. I love that. Next, let's do, I guess, some, I mean, that's my liner. I mean, better than sex. Always, always using this one. For a high-end one, it's great. I also used one by Maybelline recently that was amazing. Chi Chi does amazing ones. Like, there's heaps of good cheap ones. But like, this is one of the expensive ones I would repurchase. I'm not gonna bother putting on too much. This is actually, yeah, this is almost dried out. <laughs> I'm not gonna put on too much because I'm just gonna 
pop on some falsies as well. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna check on my lashes in the Chic Bake So Beauty because that's what I wore yesterday. Oh my gosh, guys. I literally forgot about my under eye setting powder. So Summer Bisque. Summer Bisque took over while rested. Both of these are by Bare Minerals, the, like the powder concealers, but I love them for setting concealer because they just look bomb. I don't know what it is. They just look bomb. They're really lightweight as well and don't look like crap under my eyes you just have to use like the smallest amount otherwise it can go a bit cakey but like honestly let me just do one eye so you can kind of see the difference i used to only use well rested but now i use well rested if i'm super pale and summer bisque if i do have more like tan on because summer bisque isn't as like stark pale you know and it just looks stunning i make sure to kind of like buff it in with my small face brush and it really like gives this beautiful satin kind of finish you can kind of like put it where you highlight. Like I don't know if you can see the difference. It just looks smoother. It looks um, a little bit more coverage. And it just sets the concealer in place. I'm trying to look at my blushes and figure out what's my most used blush. I guess it would be Melon Pop by Clinique. This one right here. I mean I went through a phase of only using this blush. You can see like I've used quite a lot. And I mean this product is so buildable. And I don't know like you use a lot but you don't. Like it lasts a long time. I mean I've used this like to death. But like I really get in there and it is very very buildable so you do like one pass and it's like like a soft touch you can do some more this is just a tulip powder brush by the way and just like give yourself a little bit more color and this color is beautiful it goes with almost any makeup look to be honest with highlighters that is the exo beauty one because every other one is more like intense do you know what i'm saying like real intense highlights like shiny metallic highlighters from my highlighter like palettes like chi chi ones um bitch cosmetics ones like single highlighters mac fenty all these different brands but like use such a little amount like all of them are like literally look pretty much brand new there's none that look worn like this is probably my most worn um, highlighter. This is Lucent by EXO Beauty. These highlighters are not metallic highlighters. These are like lit from within highlighters. I am planning on expanding my repertoire with EXO Beauty with highlighters. So stay tuned for that. But these are just so good. Like one way I love to use them is with a powder brush and dusting a very small amount like down where my skin would naturally glow. And this just gives like that Victoria's Secret glow to your skin, like glass skin kind of effect. And the other way I love to use it is with my little small face brush. And the reason is like I literally made this brush for this product. Like watch this. So here's the before with just like that little pass. And it's just like that really natural highlight. Or you can take it on at this brush. Or like any small brush. Even like an eyeshadow blender brush. I mean you see it already. Like it's just like beautiful. You can wet it as well if you want it like actually intense. But... Yeah, that's like intense for me. And that's so forgiving on texture. So yeah, this is like my most used like in one product. And I actually have two of these. So if I don't actually use one, it would probably be like, I probably would have hit pan. But yeah, I always like bounce between the two for the same shade. Don't ask why. I just opened a new one one day. And then shout out to my Chi Chi. Burning Up and Call Me is the other one I use a lot. This is Call Me. Probably my most used like metallic eyeshadows apart from like the Stila liquid ones. But I want to use this today. Just a little bit on my inner corner. Pop of Gold. These are great. You only need the tiniest amount. You can still see like I've made a good like go at it. Australis and Makeup Revolution also do these. Oh, I love these lashes with this look too because they're really lightweight but still just add the perfect amount of like flirtiness to the look. You could do like real dramatic lashes, but I feel like these just look perfect. All right, and then lips. Once again, EXO Beauty stuff, to be honest, because it's what I use like literally every single time I wear lipstick, apart from like in videos. Sometimes I'll switch it up, but you still see it a lot in my videos. I'm sorry. You'll be able to see that this is my most used because it's like stumpy. <laughs> this is Mari by EXO Beauty. It is my most used lip pencil by far ever in the history of me wearing makeup. Like it's the most religious I've ever been to any lip pencil in my life. It's the perfect color. The perfect my lips but better nude and i love to overline my lips and this color is perfect for overlining i think sometimes i just put like gloss on sometimes i put liquid lipstick or matte lipstick or like cream anything anything on top but this lasts like really well by itself this is another situation of like I've got so many of these lipsticks open, but like all of them are so well loved. Like all of them are so well loved. So this is for Locally by Exo Beauty. It is my most worn 
in my day to day life. In real life, like, I use it a lot. It's like the perfect mauve, pinky, nudey kind of color. And it just goes with like everything. It's our best selling makeup item on exobeautyshop.com. People love it. And it's a matte formula, but it's so creamy. And then let's do some most useful gloss. It's definitely these the Il Maquillage Carly Bible lip glosses. One of them's almost empty. I think it's Twilight. Or is it? No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's this one. I mean, not almost empty, but like for me. Because I don't use gloss a lot. Well, now I do because I'm really into these. I don't really love like gloss, but I love these like uber shimmery kind of products where you can just put them in the middle. <sighs> Obsessed. So this one is in Star Child. And the other one I just mentioned is amazing too. They just make my lips look so juicy. I'm obsessed. Mmm. Smells so good. And that is the finished look. My base looks amazing. All of these products are amazing. Every single thing I use today I recommend. Um, needless to say, like they are products that I have used the absolute shit out of. And like I said, I've got so many favorites, so many products I love in my collection. Um, sometimes I love something and barely use it because I'm always trying new things. So yeah, it's not to say that these are like my most favorite, but obviously they are very important to me. Definitely happy with every single one of these. I mean, to be honest, if I was, I don't know, stuck on a friggin' desert island, why would I want makeup anyway? But let's just say for some reason I wanted makeup on a deserted island and this is what, you know, I got given in a makeup bag, like I'd be stoked. I wouldn't even care because everything here is great. That is the end. Let me know if you liked this video and if you do want another one because I do have a whole lot of other products that are almost empty that I could also use as well. Or I could just like show like my frequently used products as well. You know, like there's options, okay? If you like it, thumbs up and I can do another one very similar to this but with other stuff that I just love. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>